Hey, hello everybody. I wanted to continue looking into this um, this ORAD virtual set technology and the gridded blue screen that NASA showed us and kind of teased everybody with with this um, their supposed experiments that they're doing in front of this gridded blue screen and also look into all these supposed truther accounts who are calling out people and I called, you know, I walked it back the day after I put out the, the original video saying I thought that's what it was, that it was some sort of a blue screen, gridded blue screen. virtual set technology which is basically a system that has a gridded blue screen that is used for 3d image creation in real time or similar real time where you just film the grid itself is there to um, record changes in the camera and then it it uses that to insert 3d visual objects such as for example like a microphone uh, a, a floating sphere of water or a necklace or something like that Innovated virtual studio and camera robotic systems make most of limited studio. Telemetrics, camera robotic systems, and ORAD virtual studio keep traders television. I'm Sunny Williams. I'm up here on the International Space Station. Now, I'm going to say where we are. So right now, we're in the Japanese laboratory. It's one laboratory out of many here on the International Space Station. It's actually on the left-hand side. If I was the International Space Station and I was flying through space like this, my left hand would be where the Japanese... So now again, we're on the right-hand side, all the way on the right of the International Space Station. This is Columbus. The so this is Node 2. This is a really cool module. Um, of course, most of these modules, you'll see they have four sides. Uh, and they're put together. That way we could sort of wa work on a flat. So I'm inside. It's sort of like a little phone booth, um, but it's pretty comfy. I've got a sleeping bag right here that we sleep in so we don't have a, sort of like a little bit of a cover. We don't fly. Here we are 
in the U.S. laboratory. Again, this is a laboratory with science experience on all... pretty cool place. This is sort of like in your house where everybody meets in the morning. Uh, after you wash your face, brush your teeth, you want to my two buddies uh, in the airlock. Actually, these are two spacesuits uh, that are ready, primed up to go outside, as we call it, to go do a spacewalk in case. This is awesome. You might see the little, um, you might have noticed the little moon on the outside. This is our It's like a glass box. Green is totally bogus. And anybody who's saying, oh yeah, this is a real comet experiment, all these channels that are calling me out saying, oh yeah, okay, here's the proof. Uh, this is a comet experiment. Uh, this is all really a scientific comet experiment. Look at this experiment for a second, okay? It's a man... The, the blue screen really doesn't appear to have any... I decided to just take a quick look to see if ORAD Virtual Set Technologies had had any sort of uh, work with NASA. You know, just crazy, crazy thought there, right? Use a search engine to go look into this. Well, I found something kind of interesting. A company called Telemetrics Incorporated has a contract with Johnson Space Center providing the latest camera robotics technology to NASA's government television at Mission Control. Johnson, NASA Johnson is the YouTube channel that released the, um, the video with the gridded blue screen.
was a little boy, we were landing men on the moon. It's like money in the bank, and it provides opportunities. When, uh, when you learn more, it's something that you can use in the future.